Okay, so here is some of the food I'm bringing. Uh, my dad has to rest. Designated smoking area. We hope that you have enjoyed this flight together with us at SAS and Star Alliance.
rivers exactly like this, or five, just behind each other, just behind the forest here that we all made it through. It's a knee height deep actually. Lava. <laughs>
get on it's raining I have to go through all of that, all the way over to, over, all the way over there. Okay, I just crossed the stream and very powerful water, but not that high and the rocks were very slippery, but uh, I survived. <laughs> Okay, pretty, pretty sweaty. It's now the sun is shining here in the Rapa Valley. That means, um, yeah, it's really hot because it's so humid. And yeah, it's it's like a jungle again. But I, it's a little bit better maybe than than what me and my dad walked. I think I've walked four kilometers here. I have six or seven left. So yeah, I better get going now. <laughs> Look, this is what happens um, when the upper valley floods, I think. Then the water goes up here with all the stones. This is a really large area. You can see right now it's only this big, but it looks like it can get like giant here nearly unpassable. That's also what I've heard, that when it floods a lot, a lot of these streams become extremely hard to pass. So I'm really happy that this one is so small. Some of the other ones have been, have been had a decent size, but I guess they get even worse when it floods too. This was the last river crossing of today, I think. <laughs> At least the last big one. Uh, now I'm heading up uh, to Snabavake, uh, close to Latabakte, uh, which is a high valley, you could say, which I will sleep at tonight. And there's a lake too, so I hope I can wash my socks and wash myself because I haven't washed in some time now. Let's just say it like that. Um, yeah. And it's beginning to rain a little and, and thunder too. So uh, let's see what happens. Not that much longer till I'm up. Really hard. Sometimes I don't really understand why I do it. I can hardly stand it anymore and it's raining. A lot. Uh, I still have a little bit more to go, but okay. but it's not that bad terrain. Straight here. Here I am on the mountain slope. It's just rained a lot. I put the tent up in heavy rain, <laughs> and uh, that's the way I'm going. That the way. Then third line. Very nice place. More rain. Very cold and very rainy. Hopefully it will clear up later. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> it seems very dark, but the forecast says so. So. Not fun going down here. All the rocks are really slippery. Walk I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm going over there and then down. 
tough. Sheltering from the rain. Yeah. So uh, now I have to cross the stream. Yeah. Um, this is the widest point and it looks the best. So yeah, I'll try so, it. So now I've crossed the last river of today or the last half river of today. It was supposed to be really hard to cross. People told me there were water to the hips or over the, over the stomach. Um, but it wasn't that bad actually. And I, I actually waited for two Swedes to come. So we crossed it together because I wasn't sure how, uh, how bad it would be. It was, I waited another river before this, it was rated as easy. And that was uh, pretty hard actually. And then this one was rated as hard. And I, I, I was really worried because people told me things about how bad it was. I met someone that went over it yesterday that said it was uh, to his hips. And someone else said uh, that it was to his stomach, so I don't know. See, I don't know if to just cross a bad place, but yeah, I found a good wide point as I've learned to do, and uh, crossed, and it went well. They have been uh, nice enough to make a bridge here. Okay, it's uh, 6.30 and I'm now looking for a place to camp because it has uh, started raining. I've begun walking up Rukutsvage. I also crossed a little river and with some sweets on the other side and they told me that that was the hardest fort they have done so far and they came from Rohutswage so and I thought it was really easy so <laughs> it seems it will be no problem from here with the uh, yeah with the rivers until Gisuris Stugan and then from there I don't know it's pretty much unwalked terrain if I'm going to Norway uh, I've just made myself dinner cheese pasta with roasted onions and uh, I have nine of those I've eaten two this was number two and I'm already getting a little tired of them. <laughs> I met someone on Skjafe that said, said they were really bad, but they're not that bad, so it's okay. And uh, here in the in my tent, here's the setup. We have cooking. I've just cooked. Um, it's in the middle because I don't want to set fire to the walls and I filled with water and my crocs are there, but I still have my boots on. They're wet. Trash bag, cap, I took all my sleeping stuff out, camera and Garmin GPS. I've written to my parents um, just now. And then I'm just hearing book and then I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm thinking I want to eat some snacks and maybe watch a movie. And then uh, look at the weather for tomorrow and plan after that. Day, day four. I've had a shower in the Glacier River. That was pretty cold and really quick shower. <laughs> that was my weekly shower, I think. It says it's gonna rain a lot later in the evening. Um, so I have a I have a gap to walk in here with no rain, hopefully. 
Uh, and also I'm walking in Ohusvage, which someone told me that was always good weather in Ohusvage. And it looks like it, there's sun behind, in front of me and behind me, clouds and what look like likes rain. Uh, it's pretty much just trail like this, where, yeah, I have a nice trail and it's pretty flat and yeah, no real obstacles. And that should be all the way to Kisuris. And there's one more river fording and yeah, it should be easy. The people I talked with yesterday, have walked over to Vage and when I fought it a small easy river I fought they said that was the hardest fort they have done and they came over to Vage so it should be pretty easy from here and yeah I hope to see some reindeer um, and then probably tomorrow evening I'll be at Gisure Stugan and then I have to I'll probably stay there a little oh reindeer Ooh. Okay, that's the first time <laughs> I've seen them. Whoa, okay. Oh, uh, they're far away. Okay, that's nice. Okay, now I can't concentrate anymore. Uh, it's day four alone, and my mood is really good now. So uh, I'm uh, I'm doing good alone. So I think I'll have to decide to give this if I'm going to Ritzim, uh, or I'm continuing on to Norway. I think I'll go to Norway right now. I'll have to look at the weather forecast. Most of my things are wet. But it looks like there will be some sun tomorrow, <laughs> hopefully. I'll be able to dry a lot of my stuff. But yeah, keeping my sleeping bag dry is the most important thing. And that's in a double dry bag right now. <laughs> so it should be fine. But yeah, I hope uh, I hope for less rain and more sun. And yeah, you can see more sun in front of me here. So that's great. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, it's a nice uh, walking with a hiking buddy like my dad, but uh, it's actually also pretty nice walking alone now that I've gotten used to it. So uh, no more feeling sad or anything. I'm happy now. I'm on, out walking. I'm enjoying the beautiful nature, even though there you know, are supposed to be big mountains over there, but uh, they're hidden away because of the cloud. But hopefully tomorrow, but that's everything. I have to look at the reindeer now. <laughs> this is dinner. Mm. And this is the tent. Mm -hmm. It's raining a lot outside. Everything is drying. Because everything is wet. <laughs> oh, not everything is wet, but uh, a lot of things are wet. Not my sleeping bag. Uh, that's pretty important to keep dry. difficult to take down extremely windy I've had to start early because it was simply so windy this morning uh, the wind was like laying down my tent nearly and I had to I, I went out to look how bad it was and I was nearly blown over by the wind because I wasn't prepared for it I stumbled a bit uh, yeah, it's really, um, right now it's not that bad, I'm sitting in shade behind this Randlachter Stuga, which is open, uh, which is not supposed to, I don't know if the wind blew it all open or something, but I, it might have been the wind actually, because it was really powerful, I, I couldn't even walk straight when I walked here, because the wind was just coming from right and then it switched from to left, and and really didn't sleep that much because it has been like that the whole night and I was afraid the tent was gonna collapse or something. Today I'm heading to Gisuris. So this will be my last day in, uh, in uh, Sarek and I hopefully will be able to stay the night at Gisuris uh, in my tent. But I'll eat food there and stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to buy supplies so I can continue on to Norway. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay. I just uh, made it this morning. It's a little frustrating. I couldn't get up on the rock. I just had to sit down and take boots off and then boots off, socks off, and then truck 
it out and walk the river and then dry, take the towel out, dry my feet, take the socks on, take the shoes back on, take the rocks back in, take the towel back in. Um, but on the other side, while well, I was doing that, I met, uh, I met this couple from I don't know where. They spoke English to me, they weren't Swedish at least. Uh, and they sold me. Um, the river I waited yesterday, which I didn't think was much of a problem actually, compared to the other ones I've waited. Uh, when he was here 10 years ago, uh, the water was up to his uh, waist, to his belly, um, and that uh, two uh, Germans had died crossing that river. Uh, because it was a Okay, on the map it says there's a hut here, um, well, this is, this is the hut, so you can sit in it and eat, I'm gonna eat my lunch now, so yeah, very nice place. Okay, so I made it to uh, the three park meet, as it's called, where Stora Schöferland, Sarek and Patjolanta National Park meet each other. So that means, um, yeah, this will be my last steps in, uh, in Sarek and then I will go into Patjolanta and go to Kisris Dugan. Okay, today's plan is to walk from Ikisuris to Saluhabra, which is a Sami village area where the Sami lived. Um, and then I'm gonna see if I can buy some reindeer meat. And I'm gonna ask how they think I should tackle this next part, which is this uh, half island here, and the part to Argo National Park. Breakfast. Mm-hmm. Use pizza puffs and use snake bread, mac and cheese. <laughs>
Okay, so day 12, I think. Then I'm walking to Sal Saluhatra or something, Asami village. Um, here, just uh, a ride. Oh, I just have to turn two or three kilometers uh, off the Pajalenta Leden, and then I'm there. Um, and there I will ask for the best way to Norway. Uh, and what about the rivers and stuff? Because you cannot read about following them online if they're hard or anything like that. So yeah, I have to figure out a route through and I hope they can help. Okay, so I just met two people from the company from the park and I talked to them and um, I met them as a Sami person in the Sami village and said I should really keep high um, and that was the exact same thing that the first person This is uh, what I'm walking in. Why not? seem so bad on the camera but it is extremely tough <laughs> to walk in <laughs> Okay, day 13, I just saw a female moose with her two uh, kids, so uh, that was pretty nice, about 80 meters away. Okay, look what I just found. Giant endless and I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck to the head or half the head of the animal. Okay, so I uh, just crossed this river and uh, had a quick shower in it or yeah, I stood in it and Took water on my and put my head in and put soap on my head and under my arms and drew some water up there. But yeah, it's extremely cold, so I uh, don't want to be there too long. I have my wind jacket on, my fleece on, and a t shirt on right now and cap uh, to keep warm and gloves. And now it's chocolate time, I have break, and then uh, next stop is camp. Hopefully, so yeah. First time <coughs> with full sun and great weather, <laughs> and mountain tops in the distance. Great.
Okay, so uh, this is the 20 meter wide river crossing. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty precise, 20 meters. So. Uh, Now I have to go all the way down there to cross and then back up. And you can you can draw a line on the map, but uh, in reality it's kind of like much, much, much longer to reach the place than expected. I double the time, and then it's pretty on point with how long it takes. It's Oh, it's crazy here, yeah. really. That's 20 meters wide, you can't see on the camera, but it's really, yeah. Okay, it's 20, but yeah, it's nine soon. Um, still some way to Hagohuta. I really, really hope there's no one there so I can sleep there. Otherwise, I'll have to find a tin spot. But I was hoping I could sleep in the hut. <laughs> really tiring day, walking on all this. Oh, no. That exactly behind me more <laughs> that way. Really tough, yeah. And now it's that way. Okay, I better get moving. I want to get done before all ten. I really hope I can do it. Please. I have been going for nearly ten hours, so I'm a little tired. But um, yeah. Oh, I really hope there's no one there, so I can just, don't need to put the tent up, don't need to put it down in the morning. That would be great. This is Norway, up here. Finally. This is Norway.
Okay, so uh, I reached my end destination. This lit while something fuss. It's really beautiful. It's falling down from this floating lake with mountains. Like these are 200 meters high mountains. It's really beautiful. And it's going down here 80 meters or something down the river which is winding up and continues behind that big mountain uh, the big yeah rock mountain thing and then continues all the way up to Trolledalen and there is just waterfalls everywhere and it continues down here too like that way and yeah beautiful beaches down there I'm going tomorrow I'll be going down and around and seeing a bit and then I'll be heading home. But yeah, this is a good end to the trip. It's a really nice view. <laughs> Good morning everyone from 